today I'm going to do the Skunk Creek Spur of the Sioux Falls Bike Trail. It's 9.7 miles. I'm going to start with the northern arm and we'll see how far I get. Let's see what we can see. As you can see, it's pretty windy today. Water's really rolling. There's some folks out here fishing. Mostly kids and dads, which is really nice to see. And let's go. Well, there's something you don't see every day. I don't know if I think that makes me mad. Why'd they have to cut down to the bark? Beautiful old tree. videos probably the one on Dunham Park this was completely washed out by floods and you can see how high this bridge is up from the water and this bridge was completely washed out and had to be rebuilt and they did not raise the height of the bridge but that's just how high the water was from the floods two years ago the uh, Twenty eighteen, twenty nineteen floods. Couldn't get across here. They completely rebuilt this bridge. In the other video, the bridge had washed all the way down that stream, past where you can even see from here. Um, I'll try to link that video. Never done that before, but I'll give it my best shot. But yeah. No flooding today. It's a beautiful sunny day. Looks like there's going to be goslings soon. Hard to see, but there are some nests down there. Kind of see one right there. See the nests on that side though. This is about the tenth bridge on this trail, and I've been by this bridge, but I've never been over it. It's an older bridge. So I'm try to get a close up of that. It either says 1908 or 1906. It's a beautiful old bridge, but I hate going over bridges. But here we go. that one is. Oh, I'm so excited to come and get some of this. This should be coming up really soon. Oh, I, should, I wish I had better light. Let me see if I can get some other light. There we go. Oh, look how beautiful that is. It's so big. Look how big it is. It's bigger than my belly. It's so big. Yay! 
I believe this is where the uh, Big Sioux meets Skunk Creek. That head is Skunk Creek and the geese are showing us where the Big Sioux River is. And of course the bridge by the country club is all fancy. I'm going over that in a few minutes. People walking on the bike trail on the other side. the fancy bridge and we go. So this is also a dam and they've got it very secure there. They really don't want anybody getting past there. There's this exterior chain link and then there's some interior fencing as well. Let's see the mechanisms that control the water there. This is a spur off of the spur that's not uh, paved. So it's a nice little in the woods kind of a trail. Somebody's been out here building. This is interesting. Almost looks like a blind or something. This is definitely like man made. It's kind of cool. Looks like a wiki up. I wonder how old this is. Definitely cool. Somebody spent some serious time on this. This is a cool little trail. I like it. This is my kind of thing. I like the paved trails because they're flat and easy and all that good stuff, but this is cool. You have to think about where you're going. I like that. trying to get to the riverbank where I can have some lunch. Well, there looks like a nice little place to sit if I can get over there. Let's see. Can I get over there? I don't know. That affords a place to sit, but no thanks. Here we go. A nice little place to sit and have some lunch. Oh, this is my lunch spot. Right by the creek. It's a shame there's trash in the river. Creek, whatever. I guess this is Skunk Creek. But oh, it's peaceful here. There's nobody around, and I can have some lunch. So I found this nice little spot by the river, and I had some lunch and some water, and it's nice and quiet and peaceful. And the sun is out. It's amazing. 9.7 miles is a lot for this old fat lady. <laughs> Um, I wouldn't exactly say it was my favorite trail I ever did. Um, a lot of it I've done before because I went through several of the city parks and a lot of the bike trail. It was okay. Um, I, would, I 
won't do it again. It was a lot, and it was a repeat of a lot of things as well. Although this spot is really nice. Um, didn't see a whole lot. There were a lot of people. I had a lot of wind coming at me on the way back, and even though I'm just walking, it does make it harder. I've got wind coming at me, my lips are chapped, it's, you know, four and a half miles in, five miles in, it got hard, but it wouldn't be fun if it wasn't hard.